keep, 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 keep it pyro. We got flip tricks in the building. What's going on, sir? Easy, bro. Yo, yo, yo. yo. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. You don't, keep, you don't keep introduce it the man like that. <laughs> I thought yeah? I'd give him straight. You need to introduce. Listen, listen man. When you introduce the man, you need to hear doves and ha oh, and angels and <laughs> and some type of. You know what I mean? You got to come with a better introduce. You got. You... All right, we got. All right, all right, all right. I was a bit hasty. I was a bit hasty, bro. I was a bit hasty. All right, for our next guest of the day. We got the head honcho of, in my view, the biggest hip hop label outside the USA. Saving UK rap right now. He took it from somewhere it wasn't to somewhere it is now. And I think that's a big deal. And that in itself deserves a round of applause. So yeah, yeah let's take it there. It's good to have you down on Pyro Radio, brother. Yeah, it's good to be here, man. You know? First time, first time. First time that we've yeah, in- yeah. I've interviewed you as well. I've known you for about eight years as well, man. Yeah, Do you know what time. I mean? I've seen high focus not exist to where it is now. And I think that is something that is like, I won't say it's a miracle because it's not a miracle, but it's something that I admire you for doing. Yeah, respect, and bro. you've built out the family from just you to mm. Baxter to Dyke, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, to the four hours to Verb T. You know what I mean? You yeah, built out real. that tree to the fact that you, uh, the high focus you, tree, you, man. You are the example, the pinnacle of what hard work is. Yeah, well, hard man. work and stipulation, the hours in and, and yeah, and putting the hours in and you know, and fa- like family. But that's what hard work does, isn't it? If you all work together and you're all on something, you know what I mean? God knows, man. No ego, put egos aside. Like that's you know that's what to me flip tricks represents the best like as i said you're saving underground uk rap right now definitely Respect, son. you know what i'm saying sure. you know all right well let's take it back to um the beginning days like before high focus started how did you get started in the hip-hop game um well my first album that i put out was force fed imagery that was in oh, 2007 yeah. I remember that man mm. like, that was before high focus isn't yeah, it so yeah, like yeah i was just going around to all the open mics even before i was like old mm. enough to get in the club speakers corner Fake ID, yeah, yeah, yeah. hitting the open mics. <laughs> I was going around doing all the open yeah. mics and that. And then basically, I needed something to hustle, in it. Uh-huh. So like, I made my album, mm. recorded it in Queensway Peckham in my boy's yard. He mixed it all down for me, like for free. Got the money, borrowed a bit of money off my mum to get the CDs done or whatever, you know what I mean? And then I was just out there, just shutting them, going everywhere. Um, and then I come 2010, came to my second album, yeah. Fury of Rhyme. Um, and I was recording with Chemo, actually yeah. in Whitechapel. Yeah, in the same, like, the like literally just round the corner. Room. In fact, I'd, I'd feel to f- I find it funny about this story because I swear I was in the same room because like you were there, Smurf was there, yeah, Jess yeah. was there, and obviously my album had just dropped on YNR. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember you having that ready. Yeah, for real. And then I was like to Will, I was like, ah. Oh, would you like to put this out on why We'll be in jest, that yeah. is. Be in yeah. jest, yeah. And I was I, like, would you I like was, to- Yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah, right, cool, cool. I'll, <laughs> let, him was like, I'll, no, I'll, let, I'll let him explain yeah. it. I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> I'll, ver- I'll verify this. But yeah, like he was, you know what I mean? He was bare rating the project and that, but you got things all in the pipeline. So it was like, it'll be about a year or a bit longer before that it will come out. And obviously I was bare eager, you know what I mean? I wanted mm. that to get that out. He was like, the best advice I could give you is to do it yourself. So then I just was like, I'm going to make a record label then. And then oh, shit. I did, I put my record out like the best way I could professionally. And then I was just lucky to be surrounded by bare talented guys like Jan Baxter, Dirty Dyke, Leaf Dog, just mates who I just met in the scene. Mm-hmm. Baxter was like, I've got an album. You did yours well. I was like, I could offer you this or whatever. And he was like, yeah, cool. And then... Then that's how it began, basically. Was it this? Was it the rinse out Fridays? Was that his yeah, first man. one? Like, that, he's, on the fir- he's the first that ever the high first focus release. signing, isn't it? Yeah, I remember you asked me to interview him back in 010 that way, or 11 around that yeah, or 11. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I had to do that twice because it was a funny. St- I won't say the story because it's <laughs> probably not a good idea. But I had to redo the interview. Not, <laughs> not, not in my Big fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy's a legend, man. If you yeah, know yeah. about Jam Baxter, you might Big guess why Jam. I had to redo the interview. But it's all yeah. blessed, man. He's a legend, good dude, man. Yeah, for real. Genuinely, you know, he's got good vibes, man. His new project's out. It's you know, the, yeah, it's an EP in it with chemo. Gonna yeah, get it yeah, out yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Teeth marks and soy thirty six. Wow. And what 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 number release is that on High Focus? If you, I'm, you're I'm not lost sure, count, lost count, lost count, it's getting to like fifty. <laughs> We've done like something like that now. Whoa! Getting, yeah. All right, all right. So let's rewind it a bit. So you done the force fed imagery. Mm. You started High Focus Records, and then you put the debut album out of yourself, right? Yeah, Theory yeah, yeah. of Rhyme. Yep. How did you come up with the name High Focus? What's that about? Well, basically. You know, I like, high, high, focused. I like saying focus. <laughs> <laughs> but I did actually have to think of so many names. That's like it, before, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, name, name, name. That's a sick one. Mm. Check on the internet. Taken. Taken. That's a sick name. <laughs> Check it. Taken. They're all taken. I was like, high focus. Check it. Not taken. I was like, that's sick mine. That's the one. 
And then, yeah. See, like, listen to this guy. You lot need to take heed. Us man on road are not checking on the internet. We're just like, no, nah, bro, it's ours. And then yeah. when they find out that man's got it for years, man still want to beef, bro. man. You know, like, actually, <laughs> even, even with the owls, yeah, even with the owls, yeah, like, we made the group and we didn't actually, we were just called the owls originally. Yeah. And I actually pressed the CDs up and then I typed it in iTunes as like some band called the owls. Yeah. Is that illegal, though, to do the yeah. same band name twice? Well, yeah, or? Like, yeah, you just can't have the same yeah. name in the genre. It's, not it's good like, marketing. who have it first, then mm. you can get your stuff taken down. Them ones, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Then we ended up having okay. to like pull all the sleeves out change it to the four hours and then that's how, how that starting a record in. label isn't something that people are inherently born with the knowledge to do though so no. what how did you build up your technical business like music business knowledge to actually start a record label how did you figure that one out i mean a lot of it you learn along the way the people who you, you meet and trial and error yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you learn mistakes from other people like you you learn from other people so you learn on the job pretty other much people who you've seen prior to you yeah yeah you i mean I, I mean i was at music college and yeah. they kind of told me about things like our oh, ISRC codes, PPO, PRS, registering. Yeah. You know, they're just the, yeah. the fundamentals of That's starting it. it. Yeah. And, you know, so I had the base there. Okay. Yep. And then just. And what are you repping? So, not repping, but whereabouts you come from? South London, is it? Yeah, South London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like to say repping because it has yeah, some yeah. gang connotations and that. I represent not, the world. I represent <laughs> you know what I mean? the but universe. But that's what I'm saying. You're worldly. I represent planet, planet Earth. Earth. I'm about, but you, you come from the South London yeah. part side of things. It, um, the UK hip hop scene in South London, apart from like gigs and them guys there, like so solid. It's not mm. really a big scene. Yeah, yeah. Might, I might be mistaken, no, is there? Not. I don't know. I mean, when I was younger, in it, like, mm. I, I don't know if you know about Frantic Frank, in it. Yeah, yeah the craftsman, standardly. Like the craftsman, like, I used to link Frank all the time. Like English so, Frank. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. he's called now. Like, but so yeah, he inspired me as a spitter when I was younger. You know, what I mean, he was putting out CDs. He was hustling all his CDs. Uh, you know, he told me about what Mike took up and shit. Okay. And then, sick, sick. So Actually, yeah, it was just people around the area that kind of inspired me to do it. Mm. It's just because I love, you know, I just love the whole vibe of it. Basically, yeah. you still hear from him now and then? No, I haven't spoken to him in quite a long time. He's moved to Spain, I yeah, heard. Yeah. He's like, yeah. he's doing yeah, a property business out of yeah, Spain yeah. now. So he's, yeah, yeah. But big up he, to He's him. an entrepreneur as well. Yeah, yeah man, I mean? definitely, 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 definitely. Check out my interview of him if you want to get a bit more info on that. It's on YouTube, man. A lot of insight there. But actually, he came on my radio show in 2008 because your DJ. Uh, Mad Nice yeah, yeah. brought him on. Oh, yeah, he was so. he was my DJ on my radio show. Yeah, yeah. And he brought Frank on when he was frantic Frank yeah, with yeah, big so. cakes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some vintage footage on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, go check that out on Blatantly Blunt YouTube. Yeah, big up it's cakes, there, man. man. Big up cakes every time, man. Go and get his no expiry as well. That's the new project. Yeah, yeah man, yeah. definitely. Okay, so we're, we're we're at theory of rhyme, and then mm. the momentum starting to build. Am I right? You're, yeah, you're yeah, getting a bit real. of a fan base. Yeah, man. And what are, what are the tactics that you're using to get your music outside of you know the the the, 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 the little bubble that is the UK hip hop scene? I mean, like that's the thing because we're probably about you know I mean, 22, 20, whatever. So we're out there always going to clubs, we're partying. Our mates are starting putting on nights. Okay. We got links to festivals. We were just going and just representing live as much as we could everywhere. We were get coming together, so we were creating a movement, and like it just Sick. started to build, and everyone was backing it, and like putting the videos out. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Even when we started putting the first ones out, it's still kind of like early YouTube days sort of thing, and yeah. like yeah. you know, what I mean, Facebook and all that. Because I met you at the first Outlook in yeah, 2008, yeah. I think it was 2007 or eight, one of yeah, them ones. Yeah. yeah. Bro, was that the one? Was that the one? No, no, that was. There's the a one ten after. year anniversary is coming up this year, isn't it? You okay, coming? So it was 2007. Next. Yeah, yeah so it must why? Have been what are you doing yeah. it like? No, what do you mean the thing at the Albert Hall? Yeah, yeah, no, that's oh, yeah. That's, that's like as a warm up to. Oh, the, yeah, to the yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna be sick. But yeah, that first outlook was pretty nuts, man. I remember you got uh, SMB got busted because yeah, yeah. like they got yeah, tagging up, <laughs> tagging up this festival site, and then from there on, Outlook weren't allowed to hold another festival at that site because yeah. SMB just covered the whole area. <laughs> <laughs> and they banned hip hop in it from the second one, innit? Oh, they right. only booked, and then the last minute booked like two hip hop acts or whatever. But then what was then, that, What was the what year was the second one? That would have been 08. Yeah, yeah. I did that. No, that would have been yeah, 09. You, you did, I think it was Jess and Foreign Beggars. Yeah, it was me. Put. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was me, Jess, Foreign Beggars, and Kaiser as well. Yeah, yeah. And I think some American acts. And mm. then like, after, we did the year after, I think. And then there was a and gap. A few years. And then we That's did that it. one where we all were on stage. Yeah, yeah. As well. That one, that last one was crazy because we were in the. Our, rooms or like next to our chalets or whatever and, next yeah, to, yeah. and I remember like you know a sole joke about this I have to stay you know you all know flip tricks love to smoke weed so we ain't gonna you know <laughs> go and get chronic but man was dry bro <laughs> man come out there man's coming out the thing yo who's got what's that yo what's that <laughs> 
Man, come outside, my man. See him, mad nice. Yeah. It's like, yeah. You get me? But what yeah, up, what man. up? What up? Yeah, man. Thank yeah, Flip for Tricks real. for saving my festival. Don't know. Yeah, trust, I'm man. Trust, 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 trust. All right. So yeah, we were talking a second ago about you know, you're not repping South London. You're repping the world. And yeah, something man. that I've noticed that you deliver in your music is is like a spiritual, worldly view, mm. like. Um, yeah, based yeah. on your imagery of your artwork the mm. kind of stuff you talk about in the lyrics the mm. kind of you know the videos that you're dropping mm. where does that come into your perspective as an artist because i can tell that you're, you're, you're not spitting about the same stuff that a lot of other spitters are doing yeah, so yeah. is that is that something that you read up about or is it something that you just naturally fell into or? i mean i think with me like writing bars and that it's all like finding yourself and shit do you mm. know what i mean so like the first couple albums i wasn't on that vibe as much and then like I started bare questioning life there's got to be more to life do you know what I mean Start, I was Damn. living in Campbell and shit like just yeah that was when was you were with um, oh, Run One Run One yeah 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 I think I came like, by that yard. yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. getting like a little bit lower I was just like ah oh, you know there's got to be more and shit yeah and then um I don't know man had some certain experience in it some certain psychedelic experiences yeah in that. wow that just like out of body stuff out of, fully out of body bro. yeah and then like after that I was just like you know what I mean you experience something deeper you feel something innate I started just reading bear researching bear watching mm. bear just learning just I just got the first for knowledge and then just ended up putting that in my music and then I kind of realized like music is so powerful in it and like the medium like which you which we've got can like touch so many people Definitely. so like if it's a very important what you put in in there 100 it's like that's what's going to resonate and like the effect it can have on people and it lasts it's forever massive. yeah and it lasts forever so like you've got to think what you were going to put down on that track you you're putting I mean? energy out into the world so you yeah, want to yeah. make sure that energy is creating mm. a more positive world and what you put out you get back you get back so yeah. you get bare guys chatting like Trash, shit, yeah. whatever, yeah, yeah. and they're getting fucked up, getting death yeah. threats. <laughs> like, whatever you put out positive, you put out positive <laughs> shit, and you get people showing you love. Like yo, come to mine. That's yo, it. You like, know what, you we, to, we did I a show in Australia. That, yeah, these dudes oh, turned up outside our hotel with a, Big, with a one zoot. ounce pure zoo. What? Yeah, rolled in two poster tubes. They took it out. It was that long. Yeah, and then another one with like a queue in it with wax all around it and another separate jar just like here you go yeah, they I gave love it to you yeah. yeah 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 and I was where just was like it? Australia, was Australia Australia, Australia bro. Yeah. was it like Adelaide or Melbourne Melbourne see that's yeah, the yeah. best place ever oh. I'm telling you Dude, well, it's the furthest place man. ever as well Bruv, yo yeah. they got man. the best bud man so this was, on your, this was on your first Australia yo. tour because when yeah, you guys no, got this was on the like, this was on the one we just the got back from the most recent one yeah yeah sick 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 it's like I'm still searching the same high of that like from <laughs> 2007 I'm, the dragon, like, yeah? I'm still yeah I'm still trying to chase that same bud and yeah, man you know yeah. who we got it off funny enough oh, the, yeah I can say it. it's Pyro don't it but he's a he's a star now like he's a he's, he's a chart topper now we got like some green off Illy yeah yeah he's like I don't know if you heard of him when we like if you went out when you went out there this guy's in the charts like, he's an Oz rapper yeah, yeah, like, yeah he's in the charts like okay. when I say charts I mean like you know they play him next to you know Celine Dion what kind Kylie of Minogue yeah, yeah he's just you know <laughs> festivals it's just yeah. him on yeah bro Six, six, six. Don't man. I love that. I love that. I love, you know, I love how music brings people together that never would have met before. Yeah, yeah. There's no For way that bro. you would have met them guys, you know. Definitely. So, you know, that's I think that's that's that that's the power of music itself. And I fully agree with everything you're saying there, man, about putting energy out there. Yeah, um sure. all right, so moving on to the next thing Australia so mm. when you guys got booked for a tour in Australia I'm like wow someone's paying for you your mm. DJ who else was it like four of you oh yeah Jam Backstar um, Scissor Tongue and Dirty yeah. Dyke innit so four, and Sammy four five yeah, yeah. six man yeah. flying, flying out to Australia yeah yeah that's like a I mean, grand it was a piece 13, it was a 13 date tour as well the first yeah. one they're making Why? their money back that's man. crazy man that's yeah. I think that's dope and that's dope that they 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 put their faith in you guys yeah, yeah. to actually deliver and I guess you've done yeah. it because you've been out there again mm. so yeah, yeah man. so nah, that's 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 now respect that's to dope. the promoter as well for making the... it happen like mm. a lot yeah. of guys talk about trying to make it happen and that but this guy actually yeah. does and he's yeah. brought out guys from the label like four times he's the same dude Sick. that brought us up that I was out this time so there's a there's a big hip hop UK hip hop mm. fan base in Australia probably bigger than yeah. US would you say or not as big? I reckon it's bigger bigger in it yeah like for it me it's kind of like it feels bigger yeah, yeah. yeah it feels big I'm not gonna say it isn't it mm. feels bigger it's hard to yeah, say yeah. right yeah, but yeah. you have to remember it's a bigger country mm. but not necessarily as in terms of bandwidth of people but as in terms of love like mm. but it's kind of weird it's like you go out there and you get treated like how when let's say the game or Fifty Cent comes over here. 
they treat you like that. Like right, they treat right, you right, like, right, right. And they more into a lot of the UK stuff because they can relate to it more than a lot of US rap. Yeah, you I think that's what, what it is. That's what I it think is. like you know like whatever five years ago, seven years ago, and that like US music was bigger here than our own music. Right, yeah. right and we right. were looking over there, being like, ah, oh, we better rate US music. Yeah. I think Australia's looking over at the UK, like yeah. oh, I better love the UK music. music. But probably five, seven years later, like you know, in the future, they'll probably start feeling their own shit. Cause oh no, 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 they have been for, for yeah. years. Right. Like you know, yeah. yeah, like obese records are like you know they've yeah, been getting yeah. platinum records and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But in terms of even the first collaboration, you know, with Task Force, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know the man there, the lyri- lyrical like? lyrical commission, in it, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, like yeah, Pegs, Brad Strutt, and mm. and. Uh, it, it was it was a show. I remember pe- personally, I didn't really get it because when I went out there, and this is two seven. Yeah. I was like, wow, these people don't mind knowing my stuff. But obviously, I knew M phases. Yeah, yeah. And we worked together. Yeah, we've done you know all for hip hop, and, and then he was like, yo, trust me, I'm telling you, man, like they love your stuff out here. And I was like, uh, and then I came out, and it's just like a sea of people. Like you're like, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just like, what? Like pinch myself. And then mm. the same thing when you're talking about the zoots. And then yeah, you see, yeah. like Connie Con, like he's still got pictures from that. And it's just still cracking me up to this day. Because if you haven't been out there, like when you next go out there, like if you just leave it for two years or mm. three years and you next go out there, yeah, it's mad, bro. Keep it pyro. Your life is basically yeah. high focus 24 7. Wake up. HF 24 7. That's bro. it. That's it. I fucking wake up every day, all day. What's going on with Dream this about it. Who's dealing with this yeah, press? Yeah. Who's dealing with that artist? Yeah. Who's doing. Oh, yeah. Now it's my record. Who's yeah, dealing yeah. with me? Yeah, doing yeah, it. yeah, it's hard, man. But yeah, he's got okay. help. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Who's in the uh, you know, team, I've, got, I've got to say, I've got big up Molotov. Yeah, man. Molotov, yeah, man. Good Matt dude, man. Good dude. Yeah, Molotov, like, works for HF full time. Brothers, it's me and him every day, just like. Going in, we've got Rare Kind Records distributing the stuff. Wait. And then we got a whole selection of video guys, designers, there's loads of people, bare people are involved in it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But they are just Evans. in the office. He's yeah. doing his thing as well. You big know, up Craig, so. big up Believe. Trust, trust, trust. Oh yeah, man, what Craig Evans, yeah, yeah man. You know what? Salute Craig yeah, it's all about It's all about the people behind, My you know, in the background yeah, that you sure. don't care about, but they're actually facilitating yeah. this happening. Yeah. Another question. Um, keep, keep, keep it pyro. Definitely keep it pyro. And if there's any rappers out there that want to get signed to high focus yeah yeah i won't say what should they do but mm. what 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 path should they take in order to get onto the label apart from just sending over demos what what do you think they need to be doing <clears throat> just need to be going out there doing their own thing being original smashing it and you know putting the word out there we check the demos in it you do like, yeah we check i check all the demos yeah, yeah. some some for more time than others yeah but, yeah you know what i mean some of them 10 seconds and yeah, it's yeah. thrown in the bin <laughs> yeah <laughs> But yeah, delete no. straight away no no I get you man look I would, the way I see it is that you guys have got a movement that's happening it's like I won't say it's a cult but you've got mm. a cult fan base because yeah, yeah. you could say to like the biggest hip hop heads around mm. the UK oh do you know High Focus they're yeah. like no do you know any other rapper they say yes mm. they'll say yes to everyone but High Focus has got this kind of niche cult mm. fan base yeah. and this is something that we were talking about last year about you know certain other radio stations establishment mm. ones that are kind of men to be focusing on UK talent that yeah. about labels and artists that are getting mad bars and mad plays mm. and mad you know you, you know coverage I, mm. but are not be get covering them so yeah, yeah. I wanted to say mm. something I wanted to add to that you know what it's deep that you said that I've seen that I've seen it happen to a lot of artists even before high focus came and what I love about High Focus is the way how a lot of these people who weren't playing their records before, mm. all of a sudden want to play their records, but now they know people, you've built your yeah, own yeah, fan. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it just kind of shows you how kind of niche the fuck industry is. So I think to me, I just think you're you're a light at the end of the tunnel for a lot of independent artists, like even Parallax and people like myself. If, you know what, I don't care, I'm just going to do me. Yeah, for I'm real. Just gonna, I don't, really I don't, I don't main, have to. You yeah. really the mainstream right, thing. Like, yeah, you know, you know, I've had certain people know about my records. I ain't gonna embarrass, man. They're on one extra and rear, rear, yeah, yeah. and they won't play it. But oh, now they want to play it because I've done something with an artist who's credible, like yeah, Dirty yeah. Goods or something like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 funny how it works, mm. but you can't deny right. the grind. You can't right. deny. I just found it funny how like uh, certain publications weren't trying to give them you know videos or put their video mm-hmm. on there and then oh yeah they've done a song with primo we need to get them guys on there. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying like yeah. you know <laughs> yeah, you know like i just so found it i loved it i just let's loved switch it to that actually yeah. underdog four underdog. hours mm. get yeah, me definitely you know man. Know like I mean? four like, hours that's the group that you put yeah, together yeah. that's like a super group right yeah, so man. you got leaf dog leaf dog on the beats myself bva and verb t 
like all on the bars that's crazy man and then, you, yeah. you you guys made a track with dj premier yeah, man. man undoubtedly the greatest hip-hop producer of all time for real, for real. you get me and what mm. what is the process behind that did you like holler at him via email what is the what is the journey there i mean like you know i mean it's always been a dream for all of us basically leafs like you know he always hounds like all the people he wants <laughs> to work with you know i mean he goes yeah. in like on twitter to make that to make that happen like mm -hmm. he was working with apathy like he was chilling with Apathy. He He's saw that Apathy with had. Brown now, man. Yeah, yeah. He saw right. that Apathy had the contact for Premier. He was like, "Yo, give me that contact." He got through to Premier's manager. Premier actually knew about us, and he even like he name dropped me and Kalashnikov time ago wow. in Front magazine as his like two favorite UK rappers. Wow. And then he was playing. Primo Hollywood yeah. quoted you as his, one of his me two favorite. Me and Kalashnikov wow. bro, in Front magazine. That's like, mad, time ago. bro. That's mad. And That's then, like um, what, that, that round. It was probably like five years ago. No, 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 like no, 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 like no, 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 uh, I think yo, I've heard I heard this. Well, yeah, sharp, you know. And what then I'm he going. was like, and then he was played like some of the four hour stuff on his like radio show or whatever. And then um, yeah, yeah he, so loved, he knew he about loved not like before. Yeah, yeah, he, he loved knew. not like before. That's he what I like playing about it on Primo. headquarters. He, yeah, yeah. Extra stuff he likes yeah, rather yeah, than yeah. stuff which is gonna yeah. get him to number one. You yeah, know exactly. So. And then after like you know we chatted about all the business or whatever. He like bailed Leaf up. Leaf spoke to him on the phone. He was just like, "Oh my days!" Like you know, what I mean? <laughs> I'm talking to Premier on the phone in my yard. Like yeah. they would talk about it. All went through, you know, what sort of beats we wanted and that. Sent one beat. We didn't think it was quite right. Mm. Sent the next beat with the cuts on, and they were just like, "Pow, that's the one." Second we beat. We obviously yeah. spent time writing our bars, laid it down, and then yeah, man. What it's do you think has been the longer term effect, or what's been like the side effects of that song itself? in terms of feedback yeah. from the rest of the world kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it opened doors for us mm. massively, like, you know, shows went much more wild, way more things around Europe, mm. bigger fees for the Sick. for us, you know what I mean? Sick. More exposure. Yeah, man. That's life, that's life. That's still life. getting booked. Yeah, yeah, still getting booked. Still getting that love, man, definitely. Okay. So for all them people out there, hard work pays off. Don't yeah, think sure. that man had to just come true and just got given a mm. silver spoon in this thing. My man had to work. Primo right, might find your song and he's gonna spin it. Do you get me? He's mm. that kind of dude. Yeah, so no, like, you never know who's listening, man. You know, mm. like yo, they, yo, flips. Donald Trump them. could be listening <laughs> to this radio show right now for a we know. Man. Hard work. Yeah, got yeah, yeah, do you get me? So it's unlikely, but <laughs> either way. And you know what? Thank you for letting me be in the video, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, well, I'll just put that out there. <laughs> I'm the only guy in the video. No, <laughs> so has, has there been any offers from labels that are trying to sign High Focus? I don't know, like. Not really not like that, not really with, like that. You know I think I mean? they're still like a bit like, like, huh? Yeah, people, we get hollered from, we've been hollered by lots of distributors yeah. and like sinker, people wanting to sync jeans and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but I don't know, man, it's all about being independent. Definitely, definitely. But they're not affecting your music. They're just saying, let us take your music yeah, yeah, and put yeah. it out there rather. So is that something mm. you consider or if the money was yeah, right? If the money was right, sick, sick, sick. Okay, sick, man. All right, so 2017, you've got mm. the Strange You project coming out. Yeah, we've got Strange You. We've got Jam Backstar, Mansion 38. We've got Leaf Dog. Leaf Dog, Dyslexic Disciple. We've got a new project from Ransom Bad Bones. Oh, um, sick. Oh, I remember got, you put We've got so much stuff on. We've got a new Dirty Dyke album. Wow. Um, Funny story I heard about Dyke actually. He's, he was saying on another radio interview was he was like when he went to Australia, he had a 15 year old boy crying into his arms when he <laughs> met him, bro. That's, that's hilarious, so bro. Good. That's brilliant, man. I respect him for that, man. Yeah, Getting that kind so of love, man, out there. But yeah, so 2017 is going to be a big year for High Focus. Yeah, man. Um, you had your album launch a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Bricks and Jam, that was packed out. That was ah, sick, yes. man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you got the merchandise ah. running as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the merchandise thing running. So you got yeah, the jumpers, really. you got the caps, you got yeah, the man. zip up hoodies. Yeah, yeah, what else real. you got? Got t-shirts. Wow. We're gonna, you know, what I mean, we're gonna get go some next funky that. stuff's gonna be coming this year as well, man. Sick, I got, sick, I got sick. some plans, innit? You got plans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy, man. That's sick. That's sick. Keep, keep, keep it pyro.